guys so today is actually pretty early for me to be filming any video but i am going to try to get off as much videos as i could today my hair is not um well it's in this state because i'm going to i don't know if anybody remembers what's supposed to happen but it was really supposed to happen yesterday the 13th of october today's the 14th well, the, yesterday was my sabbath well not my yesterday was the sabbath so no filming was going to be done yesterday so i have today and i am going to be doing you remember this well uh, it's a crinkled up now i don't even know if you can see it the virgin hair fertilizer remember this that i was doing a challenge and it began on the 13th of september so the 13th of october is exactly one month since i've been using this and I wanted to see if this could grow my hair any longer than it usually would grow because as I mentioned in previous videos my hair's um, hair growth is about my hair my hair's hair growth my hair growth is about quarter of an inch or less every month so I don't have that fast hair growth of half an inch a month products have helped me pray and products have helped me to get the length that I currently have and one of the products that I was using was the Virgin Hair Fertilizer. I have a previous video talking about the whole challenge. So today I am here to see if using this only for 30 days would give me any added results. If it would grow my hair any longer or my hair would remain the same length. Now, the disadvantage is that I actually did not have pictures of my hair on the 13th of September to show you progress, if any, on the 13th or the 14th of October. So most of it, you're kind of going to have to say my word for it. But people, you, you can trust me. You can. <laughs> you really can. And I'm just hoping that somebody was on this hair growth challenge with me and maybe this grew their hair. If that's the case, you could comment below and let me know if you have used this, if this helped grow your hair. So I think if memory serves me right, that I kind of pulled the front of my hair down in the previous video and that would be I think it would be called the virgin hair fertilizer hair growth challenge so you could go back look at that video it's pretty short so it's not going to take more than three minutes to look at and you would probably see how long my hair was in that video and I'm going to pull the front of my hair today so you would see if it's any longer I'll measure it as well I'm just sorry I don't have pictures to show. Um, so let's see. Okay, I kind of want to put cream in it because it stretches it out. So in a sec. Alright, I'm back. So I'm using the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream. It's not important for this video, so I'm not going to go into chats about that. I just kind of want my hair kind of laid and straight so you would see when I stretch it how long it is and if it grew. So remember to look back at the other video to see where my hair was the length and how much it is now if it's the same thing well i don't expect it to be shorter <laughs> right so here we go so it's past my um forehead past my nose past my lips Okay, so let's do that one more time. So it's past my chin, which is progress because I actually remember when my hair was hair, then hair, then a little above my chin, now it's below. So my hair is definitely growing. What I would do now, I would measure. What I would, I measured my hair and this side was before 
this side was eight inches behind here was about nine nine i would have ten hair and ten hair almost ten or ten hair so we would see what it is today ten was the longest measurement about around ten so we're going to see what the measurements look like Like the cream all on my face. So we're going to see if I have anything longer than 10 inches. And I'm measuring every strand because I think that's exactly what I always did. Alright, so we're there. It's kind of difficult for me to, but I'll just keep it exactly where it's at. I hope you could see. So we have already passed the 10 inch mark and it is literally at 11 and even a little past. It's definitely past 10. It's about 11 inches. And this front has never been about 11 inches. Eh? And I recall before it, it being almost 10 or 10 inches. Let's try the back hair because behind was also about 10. Put some cream on this as well. Let's see what this is looking like. All right. I kind of have to hold it because now it's greasy. Could you guys see? Uh, this is also past 10. Not at 11 though. This is like maybe 10 and a half. About 10 and a half. Alright. So this is like 10 and a half. So it grew it one inch in a month and some parts half of an inch and in a month for my hair to grow a whole inch or half an inch I think that's incredible because as I told you my hair grows quarter of an inch or less a month and I really wanted to see if the virgin hair fertilizer was responsible for the hair growth or if it was one of the other products that I was using because I used like a gazillion forgive me for having to be wiping every 20 seconds I use the this um, in conjunction with a lot of other products to help my hair grow fast so I wanted to use this by itself to see if this would give me any results all on its own and it does so I am going to say that this is two thumbs up I would advise anyone who is looking to grow their hair longer than it currently is and you want it the hair growth period to be sped up that you try the virgin hair fertilizer now this can be found on amazon and it's quite affordable you can buy one or some person sell them in um sell them like in fours so instead of just buying one you might buy like four one time and i would suggest that because this is something once you see the hair growth you would want to continue using it all right so yes the virgin hair fertilizer did make my hair grow an inch in some places and in other places half an inch and I would say that last night I was a little hasty <laughs> last night I measured the size of my hair have it braided up because I'm going to be doing a uh, clipping how to style clippings right after this video so I just had my hair braided up and what was I saying what was I saying okay i don't remember but anyway go out get the virgin hair fertilizer it could be found on amazon i think one is for six or eight something us you buy them in like a bundle or a pack you might have a pack of two for like 17 something 16 something right i bought like six and i'm going to continue to use this because it's definitely making my hair grow your it makes your hair soft it says it's anti-dandruff 
what I would say though, persons made mention of the smell, and I, I um, it, I made. I was, I was gonna say a word, but it sounded like I was gonna say something crazy. <laughs> yes, persons made mention of this smelling bad, and I told her personally, don't really have a problem with the smell. However, I use this in my friend's hair, and the day about a day or two after, there was no complaints in terms. Of in terms of the smell but i think around the third day she was like her head smelled bad she was like what's my like and she's like crap this is my hair so putting this in your hair i think maybe maybe when it mixes with the sweat walking up and down it gives off an odor well in her case and in many other persons case it smells in her case it smells bad in her opinion so that is something to be mindful of if you're going to purchase this and this is to use every day on your hair. If you want to see results, I'm thinking you should use it the way the people said. However, I must confess that I did not use this for almost a week on my hair growth challenge. I just did not. So I am sure if I did it every single day for the month that I probably would have gotten um, even greater results. That's just my, I believe so. I did it for maybe like three weeks as opposed to the four weeks, right? And some persons may put it in their hair once a week. But to me, put it in your hair every day as stated on your, um, the 